National Geographic, watching the incredible little fishes coming out of the mud. They know when high tide comes. and they flop their way down to the water. Watch how these incredible little fishies make their way back to the ocean. low tide right now. Tide's about to start coming in. Lindsay's out taking pictures of bald eagles. Yes, we found her bald eagles. And the dog. And I are about to go join her. You love your mama? Do you love me? Do you love me? Everest. Everest? Abby? She doesn't like cameras, ever. Do you love me? Yeah, I love you too. We're about to go off leash down there to uh, help Lindsay out with some photos. The tide will cover all of this in a couple of hours. So it creates little tide pools. People will actually come out here and collect clams as the tide drops. We're not so interested in clams. Lindsay's very much interested in her bald eagles, which are pretty awesome, by the way. I thought they were a little bit overrated. They're magnificent. <laughs> Oh, and the sun's shining for the first time in about two and a half days. Well, I guess it's always been shining, we just haven't seen it. So we've been rained on quite a bit, having to deal with uh, conserving energy in the camper because without sun, you don't have solar, so we can't recharge everything. I guess we could, we could crank on the generators and do that, but we just waited out the sun. Man, there goes an eagle. I just hang out on the beach here. Neat stuff. They really are beautiful animals. You can see the mountains across the bay. It's a beautiful day. What were you taking pictures of? Bald eagles. Bald eagles? What are bald eagles? Bald eagles! Oh, bald eagles. I thought you said bald deagles. Like bald beagles, but deagles. No, bald eagles. We knew that. 
Yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. She can piss off the seagulls all day long. These are pretty seagulls. They probably aren't even seagulls. They got a little black in them. That looks like a seagull. So we were starting to walk back up to the truck and we found these little critters. <laughs> Ever sleep it? No. Oh yeah, he did. He just came out of the sand. They're coming up out of the sand as though the tide's coming in. Come on. So they must know something we don't know. We were going to sit here and try to free them all, but I think they're free already. They're just Maybe waiting they're for the sorry. water. It's pretty awesome. However, they're fully exposed right now as the birds are all around. Yeah. So a little Darwin going on. Yeah. National Geographic. Watching the incredible little fishes coming out of the mud. They know when high tide comes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. And they flop their way down to the water. Watch how right. these incredible little fishies make their way back to the ocean. I'm pretty sure I killed this one. <laughs> Maybe they breathe air. This is creepy. I love the beach. This stuff is so cool. This is why I love the beach. I think I can look right here. Chris killed this one. Way to go, Chris. I saved it. I put it in the water. Way to go. I put it in the water. It died. <laughs> We're keeping them all safe from the seagulls right now. <laughs> but it's eerie. I heard him mother I mean, there's... You think of it that way. There's literally a dozen of them that just popped up. And as we stand around, all of a sudden the ground starts moving. And then up pops another one. And then up pops. Oh my goodness. I gotta ask a local. You gotta find out these things are. They're eely little fish. They don't really have a dorsal tail. Just kind of slithers off. It is a field day for seagulls. Just walking right along the beach, scooping these things up, slurping them down, going back for more. It's pretty cool how nature works. These little fish are probably born just to feed the seagulls.
So today we drove out to Homer Spit and found a campground on the water. We had to put in four wheel drive just to get, I guess, positioned. Mm -hmm. We were okay. It's not like we did anything crazy off road, but uh, we are set up really nice so that the back door opens up to this really amazing view. To the beach. At the beach. We smell salt water. Feels a bit like home with the tide running out. We were hoping we'd fall asleep to the sound of the tide. Yeah, but it went out. But it went out. We it, had. And it comes right up to about <laughs> 20 feet away from us. So at some point in the night, we'll hear them again. So it was raining a lot this morning and through the day. Actually, when we pulled in here about 3 o'clock this afternoon, it was raining pretty good. And then the rain went away and it just opened up and not a bit of wind. The beautiful. Yeah, it was gorgeous. Just turned into a beautiful almost lake. And uh, this place is absolutely phenomenal. We're going to be here for Four days. Yeah, probably three days, which is as long as we stay anywhere, as you know. We, uh, we roll on. This is a gorgeous place to be. We're camping within our budget the top of our budget there's no amenities here and we're gonna have to pay to go dump our water and fill up dump our tanks and fill up with water but um, aside from that we're right in our budget and aside from the halibut I guess that we had for dinner tonight we can't afford to go catch our own halibut they, they run charters at like $250 for a day it's crazy per person so we went down to a place that uh, it's kind of a shack, but there's no there, there are no shacks on the spit. This place is nice. It's like Cape Cod or I imagine Martha's Vineyard or any of those places that are pretty touristy and full of money. Um, but we, we went down and we bought our own halibut. We had delicious halibut for dinner and I had cod and the dog had... What did you have, Everest? Did you have dog food? <laughs> she got a piece of fish. She got a piece of fish. And she yeah. also got to eat her salad yeah. over here, which we think we think she's vegetarian. What dog is vegetarian? She Why? has an infinity for greens. An infinity? <laughs> affinity. Affinity. I thought you said an no, infinity. No, I said affinity. Well, we're recording, so <laughs> that will tell the truth. So we are happy just to be around salt water again. And tonight, might get a sunset. I don't know if I'll be awake for it. Sunset's around 11.30 and it rises around 4.30, but we've left the midnight sun, so there's actually a sunset now again where we are out at Homer on the Kainai Peninsula. Uh -oh. Spit's really just one road that goes through town. It's about five miles from Homer Everest. proper all the way to the end. All these little restaurants and tour agencies and you can book your fishing trip if you have $475 for a day of halibut fishing. It's crazy. We don't have that. I guess we could do that like 25 times and then call it. We could go on like 25 charters and that would be our entire budget. Yeah. We just go home with a whole bunch of fish. And that'll be it. And that'll be it. Yeah, no That's our trip. We made it to Alaska. We blew it all on fishing. That'd be fun. Definitely a tourist town, but it's cute. We're only spending 
$24 a night on our camping. And aside from the halibut that we had to get when we got here, we, uh, we've we been cooking all of our meals and eating peanut butter and jelly. So we are within budget. We're actually probably a little under budget. Sometimes peanut butter and jelly gets boring, especially when you have lots of these little shacks that have delicious fried fish and chips. But we're in it for the long haul. We're just starting our journey. So we scrapped our walkabout earlier, um, which was about 7.30, but the light was still bright. It was like three o'clock normal afternoon. So we went in and we had dinner and just hung out for a little while. And it's now 9.30, but the light is a whole lot better because the sun sets around 11.30. So we're pretty close to the golden hour, if you would. Coming to check out the Haba. Just because it's 9.30 doesn't mean people aren't still putting their boats in and going fishing. I think we saw an otter over there, so we're gonna go check it out. And Lindsay thinks she saw an otter on the other side of the boat ramp. So we're gonna go check it out. I tell you what, it is pretty awesome here. building our own fire pit so we want to have a fire on the beach
be perfect. It's gonna take a little while to cook down anyway. That's a fire. That's a fire on the beach. Well, our fire came and went. It burned bright for a little while, but it was mostly smoke. We're putting it away. 